We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. Stephen Wise, how are you, sir? I am fantastic, Donnie, fantastic. Okay, and the name of your company? SWB Haberdashery and Gentleman Shop. Okay, and that's what that sewing machine right there is yeah, all we about. We got the huh? sewing machine, it's going on a little home machine, and then the big industrial went over there. And cutting table, so this is where history is made every day. Okay, a uh, big event coming up on New Year's Eve. Yes sir, yes sir. Big event, it's called Baltimore's Best Dress Man um, in celebration of well-dressed, well-groomed gentlemen. Uh, okay. Donnie here, is a little plug for him, is, is a judge. Um, have three distinguished judges. Uh, Donnie's one of them, Earl Bannister, the um, local legend and designer, uh, and attorney William R. Bowie is a judge as well. Okay, who will be attending? Who are uh, the contestants? The contestants are a variety of gentlemen from all around the Baltimore surrounding areas who will be competing, um, all different categories, so young to middle aged, a little older, and all will be competing for a cash prize of seven fifty, uh, and to win the spot of Baltimore's best dressed man. Okay. And tell us about your location. Twelve South Calvert Street. Uh, we inside the old Faders cigar store, um, a historical building. It was originally to my understanding the Cadillac building as you look around the uh, Around the ceilings here and, and, and the front foyer, uh, there is Cadillac logos all around here. So it's um, a, a constant memory of what the history was. Um, then it was the, the, the Redwood Grill Lounge at one time, and then lastly, Faders, the legendary Faders Cigar Store. So I'm continuing the same tradition and turning to a men's haberdashery. Okay, and what other services are offered here? Barber? Barber here. Barber's actually in the back cutting hair right now as we speak. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get Donnie in a chair one of these days. It's on me. <laughs> I keep plugging Donnie. You notice that? Um, and a, a barber's here, a manicure's. A uh, bar will be on deck. Um, the, the, the bar will not be, I will not be selling alcohol, just giving it away. I said giving it away. So it's a courtesy to customers like Donnie, once again, who will be um, here uh, patronizing and joining the ambiance and experience here. Good deal. How can people get in touch with you, Stephen uh, Wise? Here. I'm here every day, seven days a week, or 443-642-8831. Uh, also, Donnie, I'm, I'm Agnes Shoeshine Guy. He'll be here starting Monday. Okay. Well, sh show today. us what you have in the uh, bag over there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually my shirt. I let Donnie have it because I liked him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas yeah, to Merry you, Christmas, too. Merry Christmas to Donnie here. And, um... It's a kind of a play on an uh, old, old western shirt with uh -huh. a bib to it, and the bib is detachable. So he has two shirts in one, um, but they kind of funky, unique, and Donnie saw it in the window and said he had to have one, so I said, you sure do. And you made that? And we make this stuff here by hand. So we're not outsourcing to China or some third world country here. We're ruining some child's life. We're actually hiring able-bodied American citizens, a lot of them are Baltimoreans, to make um, and keep the tradition that was once Baltimore was known for uh, right here in house. Good deal. Stephen Wise. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, Donnie. Merry Christmas to all. It's all a good night, as they say. Yes, sir. All right. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Yes, sir.